So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for the Power Query Challenge part 6 and we have as a guest um, Power Query expert Maxim. Uh, Ma Maxim is uh, very well known for his M abilities so I'm going to show you a little bit of his magic. He used a function to clean the code, the HTML code. So. Without any more delay, let's go through his steps. So here we are in Power Query, and uh, as you can see, he actually got the data from directly from Tech Day Sweden uh, website. Um, for those of you that do not know what I'm talking about, that you're new to the channel, this is a challenge that I announced like two, perhaps not three weeks ago where I gave uh, an Excel file or the link to where the data source was and I challenge you guys to clean it up for me and uh, send, submit your solutions. So um, we're now to part six. I will leave links below to what the challenge is all about. You can still leave your, your solution if you want to. Um, and uh, you can go through the different challenges. All the links are in the description box, so don't worry. And we're going to go through Maxim's Zelensky's uh, solution today. And he is a very well-known power query expert. So just hold your horses and watch. So he took the um, data directly from the site. He transformed it into text and uh, then he, let me see, he just uh, split the text um, and then split it into events. So he was doing basically, or similar to what Emin did, he was finding the places where the sessions were in the HTML code and then he split it into that. So now every row here is an event or is a session, Tech Days Sweden session. He then converted it to a table and he added an index. So nothing strange here, we've seen it already. Now, this is where his magic happens, actually. He creates a function and the code for the function is here. I will post this code for you, you can give it a go. But what he's basically doing is cleaning the HTML code the same way or a similar way at least as Emin did, right? It is definitely similar, not exactly the same. Because his uh, results are... So in this get event data, what he's actually doing is calling the function that he previously created. You see, get one event and then here, get one event. And this, what he's basically saying here is use the function on column one, okay? So uh, the result is a list of records you'll see here. And uh, yeah, of course, you have the link, you have the name, you have the place. So this function here is actually transforming the data that you have in here into this. Okay. so. You will be able to see the code and check exactly every step that he made. Don't worry. And uh, the next step he does is he removes the columns that he doesn't want and he extracts the... Um, let me show you. These, the names of the records. And he puts it into a list. So here we have a list into with all the titles that he needs because what he is going to do then is he's going to expand these and of course you cannot expand these with only the names that you have here because you will get errors as some events had one speaker up to eight so he needs a list for all the columns even if they are empty and then he expands together with the columns I don't know why these happen sometimes, it's just annoying. Okay, so we're back on track. And uh, here now we have the entire list with all the speakers, 
all the start and finish um, sessions and the dates and yeah speaker photos everything 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 is here he changes the type to text and of course to date and time where needed and then he filters where there's the place is empty and then he creates the concatenation of the speakers so easy isn't it <laughs> okay as usual you'll find the code on the github page so the only thing you need to do you go to my github um, profile i will post again a link also on the description box where you'll find where this is and uh, you have here power query challenge and this is basically like the index and here you have all the contributions you just link to the video and link to the solution or you can just go to the solution files and basically just download the ones that interest you and you want to try so either way it works there is no link to the video yet because i'm basically recording it but uh, if you are too fast i might not be able to change it before you get here but hopefully i will make it in time okay okay so this is all for today if you like this video let me know by liking it or by sharing it with somebody that you think will enjoy it if you are new to the channel i power public power power bi videos every monday wednesday and uh, friday so make sure you subscribe and also make sure you click the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos. Okay, so have a great Monday. Bye.